much unsuccessful. Anyway, welcome back to Sincerely Ramis. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are true and you've been rocking with me since the beginning, y'all, welcome back. But it's my homegirl Melissa here. Yesterday was her birthday. I'm a bad friend, y'all. I didn't even see her on her birthday. Oh, she wanna fuss so bad. You hear her? I thought she's we was more than that. She's supposed wife. to be my wife, but y'all, she just went to Jamaica. And if I go like this and show y'all her skin, my Somebody <laughs> was mm, leaving all types of passion marks on her. So wife, I don't know about that. But anyway, y'all, we on our way to Ross. We at Ross. I need to find a suitcase because I'm going to um, fly home to New Jersey tomorrow for my best friend Morgan's engagement party. So yeah, you guys are gonna come along. Yeah, look at this girl. Look how close she is to the sky. Look, look, look at this. Look at her. I always want some foolishness. Look. Would it have killed you to just go down the aisle the right way? You, you're not parked. Terrible. Open your door. Melissa. Am I in my lines? No. Dead ass. You can leave your car like this if you want to. Look, this is your car. I'm just a freaking passenger. I'm sorry, y'all. Alright, y'all, right, we're about to go on Ross. I always like to get one that's like really vibrant that I can easily identify in my suitcase. All I got is this red and white one and then this black and red one. And I don't like I was thinking about getting it in memory of my cousin Corey that passed away, my cousin Diamond's mom, but I just can't get with it. Yeah. I'm gonna go find Melissa show. Yeah, let me talk to y'all about something. So we went, hold on y'all, my battery's about to die. Let me change the battery, BRB. Y'all, it's Gabby's birthday. Happy birthday, Gabs. <laughs> Say hey to the vlog, girl. Say hey, Gabby. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Don't be shy. Y'all, she, y'all, she a teenager now. Tell him what's going on, Gabby. How old are you? Tell him I'm the big thirteen. Big Gabby, not the little one. Tell him we do big things over here. But yeah, y'all, it's her, her birthday. Everybody drop in the comments. Happy birthday, Gabby. She just turned 13. Young y'all. She becoming a young lady. Hey, y'all. So we just made it to the grocery store. I wanted to get on camera and talk to y'all about something that I saw on the internet a little bit earlier. So, um, I saw that those Telfar bags had increased in price. I guess the um, one of the new bags that they dropped is um, a little bit above $500. And people are complaining so much about um, the fact that that man had raised his prices. Y'all don't say nothing when y'all go in the YSL store, the Gucci store. Y'all don't say nothing when y'all go on buying a Dior purse and this, that, and the third. If it's out of your budget, baby, just say that. Why isn't this man able to elevate his prices of his product because his business is elevating? Um... Beyonce's wearing his bags. Other celebrities are wearing his bags. They're cute bags. They're um, trendy bags. And I'm sorry if y'all hear that. I'm at the grocery store. And they're pulling their carts. I'm in the parking lot anyway. But yeah, that's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to, um, you know, raise his prices as he uh, has to pay for more materials. He has to pay for his manufacturers to make everything and all those things. Shipping and all of that. Like, why y'all um, always complaining about something? If you like the bag and you can afford it, buy it. If you can't, don't. Like, people are not allowed to level up their lives. Like, people, black people, we have to be low budget for forever. Like, why are we not supporting this young... Like, why are we not supporting this black business thriving? This means this person is thriving. Why, what is there to complain about? Be happy. Y'all be spending hundreds of dollars, sometimes thousands of dollars at a time on one item at these... Um, European uh, stores but when it comes to a black owned business y'all complaining pay the $500 and shut up or don't and still shut up 
because we don't want to hear it. Because the girls who get it, get it. And the girls who don't, y'all can really just go. Because who raised y'all? When you have something, when you are able to open something, you are able to produce something, don't let other people, outsiders, tell you what your worth should be. And don't let other people tell you how much you should charge. Okay? You do what you do. Because that's what you want to do. I'm going to talk really fast because I'm going to my best friend's um, engagement party. Hey, Morgie. Um, my, my camera's about to die and I really want to vlog. I do have two other batteries, but they're also, um, they also have low battery. So, yeah, I'm taking y'all to an engagement party. We finna get lit. We finna get turned up. And I'll see you guys there. See ya. Oh, and I'm with Kiara, my baby, my wife. <laughs> the love of my life. <laughs> this is my kid's mother. So, I got two daughters. You know, I'm not gonna put them on camera or nothing like that because I don't want y'all stalking my children. Because y'all know y'all people on the internet, weirdos, certified weirdos. But yeah, this is my my wife, Kiki. Y'all can't call her that though. Suckers. All right, y'all. The family has made it to Louisiana. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. Look at your boy, Teddy Graham. Okay. He's not gonna get you. I promise. <laughs> not musty. Y'all heard that lady say she need more deodorant. Not them thinking my dog gonna get them. Not a vicious poop. It's really 
really good. Yeah, if I'm saying it's good, it's really delicious. So I hate liquor. And your girl's extremely wasteful when it comes to liquor, but this is good. It's pink. It kind of tastes like strawberry lemonade. But it's like a, it's a bad for me, so it's slushy. Mm. Alright, y'all, over and out. Hey, y'all, welcome back to Sincerely Rummies. Right now, I'm on my way to um, a mechanic. I'm sorry y'all all zoomed in my face like this, but I don't know what's going on in this car right now. I'm at with this camera, but I'm about to go to the um, mechanic to bring my car because um, I let someone drive my car and they said they ran over what looked like a pallet in the middle of the road and it messed up my bumper and now, there's some lights on in my car. So, um, also when I try to like clean the window with the, you know, the window fluid, it like, was nothing in there. So, um, my check engine light is also on from this little situation. So we're gonna go to the mechanic, some man named Jimmy, to see what's going on. See if he can even look at the car or take the car, I will Uber home or something because fix my vehicle. Hopefully it's not gonna be more than $500. That's my, my wish, it's my prayer, that whatever is wrong with this car is not going to take more than $500 to fix. Please, in Jesus' name. Because, yeah. I'd really like it to cost me nothing, but you know. Not how life works. So yeah, pulling up here. Y'all pray for me, I hope this really does go well. Because I cannot be out of commission with my car. Not my car. Y'all, when I be driving around, people see me with this camera, they be looking like I'm crazy or something. Or like if I'm walking and they see the camera. Chill. But um, I'm pulling up, so I'll be right back. Y'all. Y'all. I'm living life so good on right now. Let me tell y'all. So I want to talk to y'all. I'm on my way. Leaving this auto repair shop. In the, well, I'm actually leaving Jersey Mike's right now, but before I went to Jersey Mike's to get a little sub, a little hoagie. Y'all, I had to go to the auto repair shop because I went to one yesterday. This is why I look like this. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm annoyed. I have the sunroof cracked and the air, the AC blowing, but it's not blowing cool air. It's just blowing like air. I don't know, it's not hot though. So, long story short, my friend was driving my car and somebody dropped a pallet in front of us and it was either hit the pallet or hit another car. So, obviously she hit the pallet and after she hit the pallet, um, her hitting the pallet caused the, um, what do you call it? Um, it, it caused damage to the AC hose um, to my car and it also cracked the container that holds the um, what do you call it? The wind, the windshield wiper fluid and something about f child, y'all, a whole bunch of nonsense. So I went to this repair shop that I had found on Google or whatever that had pretty good reviews. All for me to get there and the man tried to charge me $900, y'all, for a freaking AC hose. He told me that the AC hose will cost $500. So right now I'm in the car hot, y'all. Blazing hip hop and R&B in this hoe. Y'all, so right now, I am hot. It's blazing hip-hop and R&B in this car. I'm like, rolling the windows up and down because when you roll the windows down, it'd be too, too noisy and all of that. So, I don't have time for all of that. But, my skin is sticking to this leather seat. It's 80 degrees outside. It, it feels pretty good. It's kind of gloomy day. It's not super sunny or nothing like that. But, the man's like, the part itself is gonna cost $500. And then, um, and then he was like, the labor and this, that, and the third. He was like, so all everything in total was gonna be nine hundred something dollars. I'm like, for a fucking AC hose in a no, sir. 
you're trying it. So, I went to this other place and um, attempted to get a quote. The guy wasn't really trying to give me a, I don't know, he wasn't really trying to give me a price for some reason, I don't know. But that made me uncomfortable because I felt like you're trying to figure out to charge me i feel like if your price is your, your price is your price your price doesn't change or your price should not change depending on who the fuck walking and talking to you so if you looking at me trying to figure out if you think i, I look like somebody that got money you think i'm a you know you, you could get over on me um mm -mm. so now i'm riding around getting it hot blazing hip hop and r and in this car so i'm gonna find another um repair shop i'm gonna try one more and see what this man says and um, yeah but I'm gonna actually have one of my male friends um, take it to the repair shop because I don't know I feel like this man these men are just really 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 trying their hardest to get over a man I'm not winning the girl likes to save a coin but y'all I'm on my way to Melissa house um, I just ate a little, I had a mini sandwich from Jersey Mike's, you know those little minis. I had the rosemary, it's right here. I had the rosemary parmesan bread, I think it is, with um, provolone cheese, everything. I had everything Mike's way with, uh, I think I just added mayo and mustard. That was it. And it was pretty good, it's lovely. And then I got a Mountain Dew to drink. Probably shouldn't have got soda, but what can I say? Don't judge me, judge your mama. But I only ate half the sandwich. The sandwich itself is like this big, so I ate like this much of it. It was good. Um, and when I eat a, a sub, I just take off either the top or the bottom layer of bread. I cannot eat both pieces of bread. It's just too much. Um, I mean, I can, but I shouldn't. You shouldn't. We shouldn't. But, um, yeah, it was good. So now I'm on my way to Melissa's to see her and Melanie. Melanie had an accident yesterday. She hurt her head. And she wasn't feeling very well. So I'm just going to go see her because she was acting funny on the phone. So I'm pulling up on my little baby girl to see how she doing. Get to see my home girl. Hopefully they got the kids over there so I can see the baby. 